let's see. It says it's live. I'm waiting to see if it's gonna show up live. Uh oh. Oh, let's see what's happening over here. Is it going? Oh, it looks like it's going. Okay. It's a little fuzzy. Hang on, you guys. Hi. I'm fixing something real quick because it was giving me an error message. But I have a whole video for you. Let me see if my pop-up is going to show up. Yay, it's showing up. Oh, good, 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 good. Hello, Jennifer and Amy. Thanks for hanging out. Um, this is our my haul video, or my haul from yesterday when I went out garage sailing for a little bit with my son, Michael. I shared yesterday the all the Nerf stuff we got, and then everything else I'm going to share with you guys today. It's not just jewelry. If you're like, oh, great, another jewelry haul. Haven't we had enough already? No, you haven't. And it's not just jewelry. There is jewelry. I got something really cool. So if you follow me on um, Facebook or Instagram, you've seen pictures of it. It's a necklace and earring set, which I'm so happy I got. Okay, let's do this. Hello, hello in the chat, everybody. Amy, Christy, Ginny, Chrissy, and Peterson, and Joel is there. Hello. Um, it's been really crazy weather here. Hopefully your weather's going okay. We've had thunderstorms and like that. Just like that. Okay. Pardon me. <laughs> okay, so let me dive in. Merry Christmas. No. Do chickens count as Christmas? No. <laughs> um, no. I'm looking like, is there? Is there? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, so, now I've lost my train of thought. Okay, let me grab my, there we go. Okay, so balls. Let's just start with balls. I got... <laughs> at one garage sale, I got some boating balls. They look like that. And I got um, two sets. One are just like the general, like that, like silver ones. And I paid two bucks for them. I don't know that there's a big market for these ones. Um, <laughs> I feel so well. Okay, good. But I looked them up anyway, and I'll show you that. But then these ones, I, I picked up, and I didn't realize when I got them that they might be a little more, um, less common, um, because they are cinnabar and I, I've done a video and I've done a blog post about cinnabar. First, let me show you what they are. Okay. It's two balls. They have bells in them and they're used for different relaxation things. And I don't know what else. Um, these ones, as you can see, um, in Asian cultures, the peach is a symbol of something good. Good luck, longevity, and then bats. And so these have bats on them too. Can you see the bat? Like there's the little bat's head and the wings and stuff. Ah, I keep turning it the wrong way. There's the bats. So um, when I looked these up, I couldn't find any just quite like these that had like one peach and the bats on them. Where'd the bat go? I've lost it again. I've lost it. There, where, where is it? There it is. Um, also, I got my loop out to make sure that it was cinnabar. You can kind of see the layers. So cinnabar is like a lacquer and it's done in layers, you know, and then they carve down into it. Anyway, let me show you what I found out about these ones. Um, I, I found a set on Worth Point that weren't exactly like mine. The, the symbol was different. The, you know, it had some like Chinese or I guess it's Chinese characters. I apologies if I don't say if it's wrong. Um, but I, I don't have worth points, so I don't know. And then the picklick one, I don't think I could see what the price was on those either. Um, but again, they weren't exactly right. Let me click on it again and see for whatever reason I feel, yeah, it wasn't the right ones when I looked it up. So, um, let me close that. What I did find, yeah, I didn't find any like mine that were cinnabar. Um, but from what I'm seeing, like some of them, like some cloisonne ones are like 40 bucks. And um, those ones are 50. I don't have a box for them. But if they're as cool and as possibly valuable as I think they might be, then I'm going to do a little more research before I, I list them. Because I think they might be a little bit older just based on the the carvings, the symbolism, and that I can't find another one like them. So I might end up putting them up for, for 50 or more 
Because like I said, like here's some with the box, the silver ones that are 20, you know, and you can see different prices and all that. Um, what did I find? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't find any, if anybody has worth point wants to look that up for me, that'd be awesome. But I still think like these ones look a little more mass produced, you know, for whatever reason I feel that way, <laughs> but I do. Um, I, yeah, I couldn't find any like these. Anyway, hi everybody. Hi in the chat. Thanks for coming. Let me move my chat up over here so I can kind of see a little bit about who's all in there. Let me see. Ah, there we go. Um, who did I miss saying, hey, hey, Z Zakiria, aged goodness, Perla, hello, hello, Jennifer, if I didn't say hey already, um, Bargain Shop Mama, hello, hello. Okay, so there's that. And then I did I did a video talking about clothes and aid, but I also have a, I have a website. I don't talk about it a whole lot. And a lot of times when I'm getting ready for, especially my tutorial type videos, I'll compile everything that I, all my research into a, a, like a blog post. So if you don't like, I don't feel like watching the whole video, you can come through and you know, I have all my research and all this stuff on there. So if you're wanting to see just like a picture so you can see the layers, you know, of, of the cinnabar, this bracelet actually just sold. I got the review back on it and everything. The person's happy. Yay. Okay, <laughs> so there's that, my, um, that's the video I did, and then I, there's a few videos from, like, Antiques Roadshow that I threw in there, just for fun, whatever. Okay, so there's that, these ones I paid, I think I paid four bucks for these, yeah, four bucks on those ones, and I'll probably end up listing them for 50 or more, um, but yeah, I'd like to find out about the other one that's up on Worth Point. I may just have to ask in the group if somebody has Worth Point and can look for me. Okay, so I got those at one garage sale. And I got some things. I didn't really look them up um, because I'm not sure I'm going to sell them. But I, I couldn't find anything about them. So maybe you guys can help me. This one is leather. It's really soft. I I paid three bucks for it. Uh, I'm a sucker for stuff like this, like little leather pouches and things. I don't know why. Um, but it's got you know, all kinds of leather pouches. It's almost like a carrying case or a carrying, a travel something. But it opens all the way out like that. And it's got all these leather pockets and pouches and zippers. And it's really thin leather, so it's really, really nice. Um, but there's no maker on it. So I have zero idea. <sighs> I have zero idea what it would go for or anything like that. So you can just hear it. Can you hear that leather? Um, so there's that. This is another thing. Like my kids like to go exploring, and they like to go like down by the river, <laughs> and, and like collect rocks and all kinds of stuff. So I thought this was cool. It's on a string. It's just this. This I'll probably go give it to my kids. But anyway, on the inside, it's got this like plastic pouch. You know. Let me see if I can open that up. These are. This is not going to be resold. There we go. So it's like waterproofed on the inside. They can stick whatever, whatever in there and carry it home and then dump it in the bathtub or whatever they're going to do. Another little leather pouch. That was 75 cents. This was cool too. I looked this up, but I couldn't find it. And it's a Fiona. The brand, I guess is Fiona, but I could not find it. So if you guys have any info on that for me, I would love to know, but this is like, it's almost like a travel thing. Like you're going to hide your money or something like that. Cause it's got these straps that you, I'm guessing, strap to your arm because my leg, I mean, I guess I could strap it to my calf. <laughs> not my not my thigh, that's for sure. This could probably be strapped to my sister's thigh. Anyway, <laughs> travel leather pouch. Okay, cool. Um, and then on the back, it's like kind of mesh or like breathable type fabric. So I thought that was pretty cool. My kids will probably claim that too. And then the front part's leather. That was two bucks. But I couldn't find one like it, but I thought it was really cool. And then this, again, my kids, this was a buck, and it's got like a belt. You can slide your belt through it. And my, my, my um, one of my kids has something kind of like this that's hooked onto a belt that they just love to throw stuff in and carry it around. So that's got two little things. So that'll just, those are one of my kids. And then... Does it go on a visor over your car window? Oh, that's a thought. Hmm. It seems small, but possibly. My grandmother had something like that. I know what you're talking about. And it would like hold maps and all this stuff up there. I totally know what you mean. 
Uh, my husband needs one of those because every time I, I don't stick stuff up there, but he like stores things above, like because he doesn't use his visor to like block the sun. He uses it to put all the things up there so that when I get in the car and actually want to use the visor and I forget and I do like that to bring the visor down, all of this stuff just spills into my lap. Yeah, that's what that happens. Anyway, <laughs> and then I'm a, I'm a sucker for compasses. I buy compasses. It's like scissors. I buy scissors, good scissors. I like these compasses. Here's why. They give you, it's not just the north, south, east, west. They give you the um, the degrees. So when we were doing orienteering, and I was like, oh, I've got compasses all around the house. Let me just go grab some. Guess what? Some of my compasses didn't have the degrees. And so I was like, dang it. I need the degrees so I can tell them, go northeast. 54 degrees or whatever it is that I had to do. Um, so yeah, I don't know if there's a market for that, but but I was glad to have them. And then um, one more thing I didn't look up that I'm just gonna show you randomly was a chain. I bought a chain. This is for my dungeon. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this chain. Probably hang it out here to put plants and stuff on, on my garden, in my garden. Um, but I don't know, it looks cool. It was a cool chain. What did I spend on this chain? A dollar. Why not? You never know when you're going to need a chain. Okay, so that was my stuff that I'm going to keep. Me and the kids. Ah! Oh my gosh, I hit the wrong button. Sorry. Okay, then next up. Oh, I took it inside. I showed my husband and then just took it right inside. Um, so I'm going to show you just the pictures. I bought a 31 like cooler bag, like this one with the flip flops on it. And it was still, okay, it was still in the like plastic. So it had, it had never been used. It still had the silicone pouch in it. Right, Mitch? <laughs> That's for your GD kids. <laughs> this is, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Mitch is, he's a teacher. And he has, and he's talking about, he shouldn't refer to his kids as his GD kids. But he, he means graphic design. Don't don't think like that, potty mouths. Anyway, <laughs> so okay, sorry, <laughs> I just got I got sidetracked. So the um the bag was still new, right? That's where I was. It's still sealed in the plastic. And when I took it out of the um, plastic just to like look at the thing on the inside and everything just like this wave of cigarette smoke came out at me. And I'm so glad I opened it up and looked at it before I decided like, oh, I'm gonna sell this. It's already, you know, still new and sealed, right? So I guess the lady who it belonged to was a heavy smoker to enough so that it got through the plastic covering and into the brand new bag. So I'm gonna have to air it out. But I think I'm gonna keep it because it's a nice little insulated picnic-y bag that we can use. But oh my gosh, I would have been mad if I was, you know, bought this like brand new as a 30, like, cause 31 can be pricey. Um, if I bought it and that's what I got and it smelled like smoke, like cigarette smoke strongly. Anyway, but did I look up the price on this bad boy just in case I wanted to sell it? Yeah, like 12 bucks or something, 13 bucks. So there's that. Oh, put it in my freezer. Good idea. With all of my deer meat. I had to buy a, a freezer because we have so much deer meat. Man, a, a few other things wandered off from this haul. I just realized that. Yeah. We, because my other, my other stand-up freezer, we didn't move with us. And then we moved here. And then I just have the freezer in the bottom of the fridge. And then when my dad and my sister brought the deer meat from one of the deers, it like, filled up the whole freezer thing and I'm like where am I gonna put my ice cream or frozen pizzas so we had to buy a little freezer to put out in the garage like it's deep freeze so I could have all my deer meat anyway um hello in the chat hi gulf winds hi Cheryl hello hello who else am I missing in there hello treasure pirate okay so there's that hello granny Josie thanks for hanging out this is the other thing that walked off because um Randy and my, Randy came back from camping with one of the kids and my, and my child is really into hats. So it, she's got a, like a Indiana Jones hat. And then 
I bought this one. It's like a black. It looks like this black one right here. You can see the, the flipping of the thing. Um, and yeah, it's already gone. So hats, go. Yeah. But if I was going to sell it, it's a leather. I guess I should tell you. Henschel Hat Company. Leather Western style hat. Um, look, here's this one. This one, mine didn't have that braided thing on it. Um, my pointer's not working, sorry. But it was just kind of plain. It didn't have a belt or anything. I'm looking to see if I see another one like it. Like this one, right? Wow, that's an expensive hat. I may have to go back and get it from... <laughs> I got it for a dollar. So anyway, but it's a nice thick leather hat. I know, Christine. <sighs> so we've got like... Uh, we're talking about the venison... Um, most of it's ground like up and has got like the spices for, for so like making patty sausage. Uh, and then there's another bunch of it that's like, just like ground meat. They, they mix it with pork. So it's like, we use it for tacos and hamburger and whatever. Whatever. Okay. So yeah, the hat walked off. Um, okay. Okay. Next up is this really sweet bag that I got for $3. This, can you see it? Okay. I'm trying to get it where you can see it. It is a vintage, it's wool. Can you see the wool? Handbag. It's in really nice shape. It is from Neiman Marcus, and that's the brand, Malama. It even, and the inside's like satin lined. It's got a little coin purse on a chain, which is really cute. Um, <laughs> my boys would have loved that. Now they want ones I can wash. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, James got one that's like a, it was a Doctor Who hat from Goodwill, but it looks kind of like an Indiana Jones hat, so he wears that a lot. Um, oh, thanks, Tammy. <laughs> um, so let's see about this purse. Now, I couldn't find this exact purse. Um, and honestly, the, I was surprised at some of the lower prices. I really thought this one would, would fetch a higher price. Like, this one's kind of similar. It's a Malama wool handbag 48 bucks so and that's up for sale on Etsy they've got some really nice pictures they've they've done a nice job on that um so maybe you know I guess that's not too bad 50 bucks for a dollar I guess I'll take it <sighs> whatever <laughs> um but yeah I couldn't find one just exactly like the one I've got so nope 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 but look at this one wow I wish right so probably between 40 and 50 bucks. Honestly, I'll probably go a little bit higher. I'll probably go towards the $50 because it's a little bit bigger. Like for a vintage purse, a lot of them are a lot small, or can be smaller than this, this kind of style. So this is a pretty good size, you know. It's, you know, you can fit your phone in there, maybe, unless phones keep getting bigger. So, yeah. Ooh, good call. Gulfwind says, I spray all my husband's hats with Scotchgard. Okay, next, what do I have for you? Oh, oh, I bought this. I'm just going to keep it. Hang on, let me take my stuff. This is going to be probably for in my workroom. I've got stuff in it. I'm always looking for little dishes that I can throw stuff in and leave them there. So it's a little Pyrex divided dish. Um, I just liked it. I don't know. So whether I use it to cook or throw my random jewelry in. But I always look for things like... <laughs> It sounds silly. Like this side is like, it, it helps me manage stuff. Like this is the stuff I'm going to list. Once I've listed it, I move it over here. And then once it's over here, I go put it in the drawer where it goes. It like gives me a little flow, workflow. <laughs> I have a plastic one that I'm working with right now, but I don't know. I liked that. Maybe because it's smaller. So it makes me feel like I got a lot more done. Like I got all this listed, moved over and put away. Um, anyway. <laughs> So, I mean, there is some money in Pyrex. I I mean, that one's sold for 11 euros. It looks just like mine. I don't think I'm going to end up selling it, though, really. Some of these are not selling for that much. Things come in waves, I tell you what. Remember when Pyrex was like, everybody had to have it, you know? You know, you know, you know? Okay, I bought this, too. This, like, galvanized little metal thing. But I'm going to keep it. It was originally $13. I got it for three. Actually, I feel like I paid too much for it. But We have a lot of galvanized metal stuff. I've actually just, it's out on the front porch. Look at me just leaving stuff everywhere that I did not um, 
show you. But I got two big galvanized metal tubs. One of them already has the holes drilled in the bottom, which thank you, because I'm going to use them for planters out in the yard. If I don't use them, Elaine will. But they're pretty sizey. Um, I'm trying to think of how far across they are. They're, I mean, they're probably about a yard across. They're, they're pretty big, and they're, you can't see. They're probably about a foot deep, if not more. So they'd work out for a pretty good planter. I got two of them for three bucks. So that was really a good deal, because I bought this other thing as a planter. I spent way too much at the tractor supply company store. <sighs> Garage sales! I need you. Like, look, I'll show you my... No, oh, I'll show you later. Never mind. I got, like, a little strawberry planter for a buck at a garage sale. And I know they sell for, like, $30 or something. Redneck hot tubs. That's what my husband, my husband was like. Let's just throw some ice in there. Put some beer. This house holes in the bottom, honey. It's going to leak. Okay. Um, so, at another... Did I just close that out? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, at another garage sale, I bought a bag of jewelry for 40 bucks. So, I walked up. There was a, one other lady there that was looking at some purses. Actually, that purse came from that garage sale. And she was the, the lady was just, um, the woman hosting the garage sale was just taking out a bag, like a plastic lunch bag with jewelry. And she was about to dump it out and separate it. And I saw the cameo, which I'm going to show you in a second. I saw the cameo in it and was just like, can I just buy the whole bag for me so you don't have to mess with like organizing it and detangling it? I'm, do I'm doing you a favor right and so I was like she was like yeah okay you can buy the whole bag her husband came out and I was like would you take 20 bucks I mean it wasn't a giant bag it was like a lunch bag size would you take 20 bucks he says no <laughs> I was like okay well what what can I buy the whole bag for you know and he says 40 I said okay I'll buy it for 40 so that's what I did um <laughs> that's why they make trash bags yeah Okay, so the first thing that I got out of there that I detangled out of there, it was tangled, I detangled it just for you, was this really pretty necklace that's got this little, like, rose quartz on. Okay, we get it. What are you honking at? Seriously. Seriously. And then that's, you know, the clasp. It's got a little moon, and the brand is Luna Norte. Which, you know, is a fair. They sell. But this is where what it is. It looks like this one that's... Uh, my pointer's not working. That one right there. There. Um, but it doesn't have the other pieces that are with it. So, I don't know. It's pretty. I don't think I'd wear it, though. It just blends in with my skin. You wouldn't even see it. The pinkness on it. Did I? Yep. Anyway... So, by itself, I don't know. I mean, she's got some really cute stuff. I wonder if Elaine would wear it. She doesn't wear a lot of gold, though. But she might. What is this one going for? Let's just pick a random one and go with it. You think it'll sell? I think it will, too. So, this one. All right, whoever you are, Miss Stylish on Poshmark. We're going with your price for this one. 28 bucks. All right, that sounds good. But it's, there's only one of them, and this has two necklaces, so we'll call it we'll call it twenty bucks. How about that? Why not? Why not? We get to make our own prices. Okay, so next up, don't you love it? I would do more research, but I'm just having some fun with you. Okay, so there were some things I didn't look up. Let me show you that because some of the stuff was just like this shell, bonus hair. Put that over there. Um, I didn't look this one up again. It was just like a meh. It'll probably just go into a lot, so I didn't bother. There were a few things that I, I needed help with. This one that kind of has that, oh look, that one's messed up. So that'll go into a lot. See what, can't even push that back in there. Was it like that originally? Ooh, that would, yeah, it's really on there like that. Okay, well that's going into a lot too. Okay, now, and then a hair thingy, which I might clean up. Because sometimes I need hair thingies. Yeah, anyway. I'll probably clean that up. <clears throat> okay. Let me set some of these things out. <clears throat> so these were... Here's a plastic bracelet. That was in there too. Sorry. Let me show you the stuff that I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to... I didn't look up. There's those. Just kind of cheapy little earrings. 
Do, 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 do. Okay, some of these are brands that I think are nice brands, but I don't know a whole lot about. Or they're like Silversmith, make like. This was all in this bag. Let me separate it out for you. Oh wait, that was in there too. Just it's got a little elephant. Can you see the little elephant? Hang on, let me take it out of this. Uh, how many friends do we have watching? I'm on a different system, so I can't even see. Hope I'm not boring you to tears. I'm slightly prepared. <laughs> okay, so it's got a little cute elephant. Isn't that cute? And then on this charm, it says. Side by sides or miles apart, friends are always close at heart. Aww, that's sweet. <clears throat> that is sweet. Okay, another little bit that doesn't, I'm not going to look up. A little stretchy ring. And is that it? As far as what I'm not looking up. Hang on, let me set a few of these over here. Because I've got quite a bit of silver. And then some, there's a Howlite ring. That's, I'm not looking that up either. Doopy doop. Oh, wow. Oh, thanks, Granny Josie. <laughs> 67. Thanks, friends. Go over there and hit the thumbs up. I always ask. Please. With manners, right? Use your manners, Margaret. My in-laws are coming. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there while we're talking. My in-laws are coming Thursday. And that necklace just fell. And I need to clean my house. So, and if you're following along my dilemma, not my dilemma, but my, do you see that troll that made a comment about my nails? <laughs> it wasn't from a recent video. It was from an older video, but still, I thought I would share and, and let them know they could send me money to get my nails done and a pedicure too, if they really wanted to. But alas, they have not sent the money. I sent, I even gave them my PayPal account just in case they didn't have it. Nope. Nothing. I guess they were just criticizing. I thought certainly they wouldn't do that. <laughs> certainly they would just be like saying, let me take care of that for you. Nope. I was wrong. Okay. I've got it all spread out now. <laughs> you saw that. Isn't that? I'm sure you get that too, Granny Josie. If you're on YouTube, you're going to have people making comments and you and usually I just delete stuff like that but I was like I'm feeling a little scrappy today let's do this bring it okay um, so I got these earrings and I thought oh they're cute they're like channel set but then as I looked at them a little closer some of the the stones and stuff are falling out or that's loud over there they're passing by um so that all came out Okay, then, okay, so what I was going to show you was this bracelet, which I'm going to be sharing, I'm going to try to get the, the mark off of it. I don't know if you can see that. There's another piece that has a mark similar. Um, but it is sterling silver with blue topaz. It has a toggle clasp. This was all in the $40 that I spent the jewelry so it's got this toggle clasp I think it's from like a nice silversmith let me show you the back so here's the back each piece is stamped it's got these really nicely done hinges on it so it's like so and then I guess it you know it still had the tag on it whether this is a pipe dream let me show you let me show you the price and so, yes, the trolls. So here's the, the, but look at the price. Ready? $418. I'm not missing that decimal point, right? So I'm trying to figure out, like here again on the back, you can see what I think is the maker's mark. And it's on another piece, so I can show you the other piece. There is one earring. I don't have both earrings. But there's no mark on it. So I'm wondering if it was sold as a set with the other earring, which is not here. But I, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, because some of the other pieces here are from like a fancy schmancy silversmith. 
And these little pieces are like concave. They're like dipped in. And then they're like, I don't know. It's, it's really cool. I'm guessing they're hollowed out like that to keep it from being too heavy. So it's really nicely done. And it almost looks like inside the concave part, you can see kind of it's gold. I wonder if they put like a vermeil, 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 you know what I'm talking about? It is spelled vermeil. It looks like there's a layer. You can kind of see like there's a layer. Can you see it? Like, and it's a little golden on the inside there. Or coppery, I don't know. Anyway, I've got to do a little more digging on this and I'm gonna find out more about this maker somehow. I don't know how. I looked it up, I did my research really. So 418 was the price put on that. So let me show you what I saw. And it looked like, at first I thought the, the mark was S-A-N-O-X, but it turns out it's not. But it's like an S, a dot, an N, a dot, and a, either an X or a K. But I couldn't find, I don't know. I couldn't find anything like it. So it's almost got like a brutalist kind of look. And you'll see there's some more stuff that's like that um, brutalist style. It's really cool, right? Yeah, with each piece being stamped, right? They really took the time to like, choo -choo -choo -choo. so I'm going to. I'm going to find out who this maker is because, yeah. All right, let's see. Next, Sterling. Okay, so the next one is Joie d'Art. So I did, I was able to make out that maker. Make out that maker. So this is, they have a website and everything. And so it's got these like curved geometric pieces, like so. And then a clasp. Can you see it? Like this. Boom. And then the ma the mark is there. Get out of the way, you. Joie de art. Um, instead of them. And then here are the earrings that go with that bracelet. Maybe I can show you. One's backwards. But these ones were marked 32. Joie. Joie. And, yeah, price high, totally. Um... So, Sterling Joie de Art bracelet, and da 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 da. I couldn't find anything just like mine. I don't know. Did I not pull up their website? I could have sworn I did. No. Anyway, they have a website Swedish Sterling Silver link. How did I not pull it up? I'm trying to remember where the apostrophe goes. Oh. Uh, Forget it. Joie Art Sterling Silver. Let's just look here. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to sign up. Darn it. Forget it. Forget it. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I really did look this stuff up. Here we go. Let's look at this Joie Art bracelet over here. Yeah, so for the other one, I'm gonna definitely going to have to price high. No, we're fine. We don't want to sign in as a different name. Uh, <laughs> you guys, for real, I've had this stuff pulled up. All right, I give. They have a site. Just trust me on this. <laughs> oh, brother. All right, we'll just call it there. Is it not letting me go to their website? Now I feel embarrassed. Schwa art.com there oh. and I'm not sure I'm saying that right but I'm certain that somebody will tell me if I'm saying it wrong English please let's just look I just wanted to look at some of their stuff to give you an idea so like 64 euros 53 euros 57 so yeah so probably end up putting it around the $50 mark um, just based on what I'm seeing on their website so that's just the main guess so there's that and then some people like that style that kind of like abstracty style okay I feel off now that felt really weird trying to figure that out okay I've already looked at that I already looked at that this is me trying to figure all this other stuff out then and that was me looking for more okay this is the ring 
that's got the same maker's mark as that topaz bracelet. So look at this ring and it's got, you know, it's got all these mixed metals. These are hammered pieces in there. You can see silver, brass, copper. There's the mark in there. Can you see it? It's the same as on the little um, loop for the toggle clasp. I keep switching the wrong hand. I'm mirrored. So it looks like an S, a dot, or a D? What is that? It's a weird symbol. Something N and something K. And there's like little dots in between them. So, and then these little bits spin around and move and all that stuff. Really cool, right? Like so. But, uh-oh. Um, yeah, I don't know what this maker is. Here they come. They're coming back. So we will just have to see on this one. I did, isn't it cool, Christine? So yeah, this was still in that $40. I averaged everything out, so everything was about $2 an item, approximately. So when I go to list it and I put my inventory note, I'll put two bucks. I just don't know this maker. I, I'm, I'm wondering if it's like a Danish maker or something. It kind of reminds me of some of those styles of some of the like Scandinavian makers. I wouldn't be surprised like that. Okay, so very cool. Um, let's see. See, I tried searching SNK jewelry, but it would like pull up, I don't know. I couldn't find anything. I might have to try Scandinavian or try a DNK or if anybody finds out, please let me know because yeah, I could not figure it out. Okay, the next ones are also priced crazy high. Um, and there's a bunch of different things, but they're all from the same maker. So first is this sterling silver necklace with these circles. <laughs> all the circles. It reminds me of, do you know those, they're like beehives, but for a certain kind of bee that makes their hives in these little holes like that. You know what I'm talking about? Um, they're like little pieces of bamboo or something that they make it. Right? I know, right? For 40 bucks, I think well, I think I did okay. So there's that. And then it's uh, marked with kind of very lightly. You can kind of see it on there. Almost like they took a little scratching type, you know, pen and, and signed it. K-Laura. Let me see if I spelled that right. L-O-R-A. So K and then L-O-R-A. And I think it's on another one of these tags. Yeah, it is. Um, so again, I couldn't there's only one K Laura I found and her stuff is strange and fun and expensive. So I don't know. So there's that. Wood bees, maybe. I think there's another carpenter bees. Is that what they're called? Mason bees? Um, so here's the earrings that are like it. They're they're pretty heavy. Now the thing is I have to test them. I I'm pretty sure they're silver, but there's not a silver stamp on them. You know? Look at these big old hoops on them too. Look at that. <laughs> so there's those. And then there's two square pairs. The, the first square pair, but they also have circles like so. Woo, there it is. So aren't they fun? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, so there's those ones. And then here's the other ones. And this one has a price on them. These have a back. So there's that, and then the back side, this one has more than just circles in it. This one has squares and circles and triangles. Same maker, but this one has a tag. Ready? And it has the name. Tell me if I'm going too fast. That's upside down. Um, K. Laura. And then look at the price. So, question mark? I need to find who this maker is because either that's a pipe dream and they're smoking it special or it's something I need to know one or the other but here's the only K Laura I could manage to find that is selling from the artful home and it's I mean it's geometric they've got like the rectangles but then there's like little animals and stuff hanging from them which is super fun by the way here's a flamingo one from Kristen Laura. I just don't know if it's the same style. 
I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, here's another like a site that's got, I mean, come on, giraffes and gold rectang rectangles. But you know what? Here's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the hoops. Look, I'm going to compare the style. You see on the hoops of the earrings how they're those big style? Let's see. Are, are they the same kind of style hoops? Listen how loud they are. You know, because mine have like these strangely large hoops. Um, so I'm looking to see if it's the same kind of style of hoop. Because they are kind of big like that. You know, not like a normal backing. Hang on, like a normal hoop. Let me show you a normal hoop. Let's have a normal hoop lesson. Okay, joking. See, this one's much smaller and normal sized. This one's much larger and artsy. You know what I mean? So it may be. I mean, the style is similar-ish with the big hoop and maybe it's just the perspective I don't know okay so I don't know I'd love to hear your thoughts hang on I dropped one of these other earrings down here oh my gosh reach, 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 reach. there we go let's see let's see any chance the folks you got this from one of them was it I don't think so I, I have a feeling it was somebody he knew's jewelry. I just got that that feeling. So, I don't know. Because, yeah. I don't think he would have sold it to me for 40 bucks If it was like, those are $300 earrings. You know what I mean? <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> um, so, okay, then. What else have we got? What do I have next for you? Okay, the next one is another joie de art necklace where it is. And this one's more like a brutalist style. Definitely. Joie de art. It has the same oh, bonus here. Get off there, brown hair. Anyway, whatever. So, joie de art. The hair just doesn't want to go. I must include hair. Yeah, it's <laughs> totally artist prices. So it's got this, you know, kind of brutalist look, hammered, metal, like so, necklace. So that one's kind of cool. And here's a joie de art. Oh, gosh, I could have sworn I, I'm going to keep clicking because I feel like I really did this. I really thought I took care of this for you guys and pulled it up. But I would probably list this for higher because I know there are people that really like this this kind of style, this brutalist style, and it's a nice, a nice length. Isn't it nice, Fairy Vixen? So, oops, might be better if you see the whole screen like that. You know, and it's put together really nicely. It's sturdy. It's a sturdy piece. So, I mean, I'll probably end up listing it once I get it, you know, de-haired and everything. I don't know. Probably about 70 bucks or so, 75 is my guess what I'm going to do with it. Um, so, oops, I need to put that. I'm trying to stay focused, clear things off as I go through. Then I showed you that. Okay, I'm not ready for that yet. So let me show you. Apparently there's some things I didn't pull up. Um, some earrings that were in there as well. No, this is from a different garage sale. I got some things for like a quarter at another garage sale thinking they might be something cool, but they weren't. So they'll end up in a Going up in a lot. I was trying to move quick because my, uh, you know, my little one was done garage selling. We already had all the nerf we were gonna get, I think, and he was like, "We are, we gotta go, mom." So those ones, meh. But they ended up not being anything fancy. Some of them are kind of cute, but. I thought they might. There were some signs that made them look like they might be gold, but then they weren't. So, these ones. But they weren't. But I think I only paid like a quarter or 50 cents or something like that. The prices were super cheap. Which should have told me also. Here, let me move some of this aside. I got a cute cat pin though. It's kind of like an iridescent purpley blue black. 
Have you guys seen Captain Marvel? Speaking of cats. Flurkins? Is that what it's called? The Flurkin? With the cat, but it's not a cat. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to open this bag. Bag opening 101. When your hands are dirty. There we go. That's a weird sounding bird. Okay. So, oh, thanks, Fairy Vixen. Hi, Tammy. Okay, so here's a cute little kitty pin that I got. It's black, but it's got like this iridescent blue and purple. See, this is one that I would probably have to make a little video for. Because if I just took a picture of it, it doesn't quite capture the iridescence of the kitty. You have to see it in motion to see some of its changing colors. I think. Anyway, it's head. Matches my nails. Cute. So cute little black kitty. <laughs> that was, I don't know, a dollar, or not a dollar, but 50 cents or a quarter. Everything there was really super cheap. So then this one is another one that was this little silver necklace. Live, love, laugh. And it's marked 925. And I'm trying to remember. Okay. There's those. Okay, these were this was also in the 40 bucks. <laughs> Jimmy would go enough for oh yeah. <laughs> so these I have to look over them and see if I see any maker's marks. I personally love these. Um, and they're that mixed metal, which is always nice. Uh, they might be a little, a little too small for me, maybe for everyday wear. But they're nice. Um, oh wait, I see a mark in them. I see a mark I didn't see before. Hang on. Unless it's tarnished and my eyes are just tired and old, which is totally possible. Move you, other things. Uh, no, it's just dirt or tarnish or something. <laughs> I'm going to have to look them over again, too, because they were not magnetic. But, you know, that doesn't mean anything necessarily. I'm just looking one more time, just in case. Boop, 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 boop. Nope, I'll look at them later. I like if, if they're not magnetic, I know some people tease about it, but if they're not magnetic, then I like to test them. That's just the way I, that's just the way I do. So here's another bracelet that was in there. And I don't know if it's missing a circle there or just like that. It may just be like that. Um, but this one, again, I don't see a stamp on this one, but I'm pretty sure it's silver. But like those other ones with the little holes, the circly ones, they didn't have a silver mark, but I'm pretty sure they're silver as well. So that's pretty cool. Let me put it on so you can see it better like that. It is not my style. I've already got circles of my own. Lots of them. Little dots. Um, <laughs> and then two, three more from that one. And then I'll show you the piece of the resistance. Here's another Joie Art bracelet. It's got like a reptile strap and then another... What do you call it? <laughs> what do you call it? Geometric, curved, geometric thing on there charm then there is a this is silver and probably copper but it is marked silver and it's a nice little necklace I'm gonna open it I'm gonna open it and put it on and show you so a nice little curvy one like that circle these hmm I mean, it's cute it's not my style I could see somebody liking it oh you like the bracelet <laughs> cool cool um so, the, yeah, these ones I didn't look up either. So, ah. And then this is another necklace that was in there that is silver. Rounded triangle. There you go. And then the inlaid piece. I'm not sure what the inlaid piece is. I don't know if it's gold or just vermeil or what. There's no mark. It's not magnetic. So, I, and honestly, unless I get my, my thing out. What you call it? The thing. The file. The thing. Unless I file it, there's no way I can scratch that piece because it's really in there. So I'd have to file the, uh, yeah. Yeah, totally. I got some good stuff. Okay, so the thing I didn't show you yet, which I'm going to show you. There's actually two things. <laughs> One of them. Oh, I must have closed it out. Okay. Oh, well, so much for that. 
um, one of them is probably going to be my new garage sailing bag seen here first for the first time ever obviously if it's the scene here first it is a chicken bag have you guys seen this i got this for three dollars at a garage sale the only thing about it is the whole part is like <laughs> that is very small so i could see myself getting super irritated trying to find stuff in there but if i just use it for my garage selling bag we're all good so there's <laughs> my new garage sale bag. It'll make the homeowners smile. The hosts of the garage sale will smile and think, that chick's got a chicken bag. I need to give her a good deal. Quack, quack. Wait, no. Quack, quack. <laughs> That's what they're going to think, right? <laughs> you had one. <laughs> yeah. So, and now, bum, ba, da, da. The reason I wanted to get that $40 um, bag o jewelry was this. You sold it for about 50 bucks, Thelma. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, it might not be my new garage sale bag because I like $50 more than a garage sale bag. <laughs> so I might end up selling it. And I actually had research pulled up on it. I don't know what happened. Hang on, I think maybe I have too many, let me close some of these windows. I have too many tabs open and it probably, I just passed it and didn't even. Why did, I know, was, I feel like somebody had one recently. I feel like I saw it listed, Thelma says. Maybe it was Thelma's that I saw. It is the cameo, Tammy, it's coming. I just wanna have everything ready <laughs> for the cameo. Cause I, I pulled up something about the gold too, because, um, where is it? Okay, that's not it. All right, so the the thing that I wanted from the bag that I saw, and I was like, I'm getting this right now, is this, oh, it just went and got tangled up. Here we go. Is a necklace and earrings. I'm not gonna put it on my head. So it is this cameo necklace with garnets. It is marked. And there are earrings. I'll show you the earrings in just a second. Now, I did get a comment. I can't remember who from. Who was like, you might want to test it because she said something about prong settings and 22 karat gold. Um, but from what I'm finding, it's it seems legit. Oh, hey, Sandra. <laughs> Yours was a reddish color chicken. Oh, sweet. Um, so here's the back part. And I've got a whole, I've got a couple videos on cameos. Um, so I can show you that. So the cameo looks pretty legit. The the mark on it is G1 900 and then there's another mark I can't really read which may be the maker. Um maybe Czech, maybe Austrian, I don't know. Um so here's one of the earrings. Here's what I liked about the earrings in particular. One, the they're facing opposite directions, which is cool. Two, like when you get in there close, you can see that they're not exactly identical. So that's another good sign that you know they're not just like laser cut automatically. Like just hang on, I'm trying to get them lined up there, so you can see they're not, you know, identical. There's differences as, as there would be if they're if they're hand done. Um, so I couldn't find any quite exactly like this. I did find some garnets that were set. Oh, the, I forgot to tell you. The G1 has to do with the quality of the garnets from what I've from what I've read because I've never come across that before. So when I did, that's what I found out. Um, there's like G, which I think may be the best, just plain G. Or G. there's G1. I'm guessing on that, so don't jump on me if I'm wrong. G2, G3, which I'm guessing G3 would be, you know, further down the line. Um, I know, right? The colors are different in the background too, yeah on them. Um, that's your style, Granny Josie. Um, so, on these ones, let's see if I pulled up, I don't know what I was looking at there. Oh, this is where I was lo looking up G1 900 gold. Um, so here's where I was looking at, this one's sold, but these are, those don't have the prong settings. Um, ah, they're going to be loud over there. It does not say, but here it tells me, you know, 
That one is silver. Okay, so the, see these ones have the prong setting, so I think I'm okay. Um, and these ones are on worth point, but I don't have worth point. This one was a bracelet, gold gilt silver bracelet. Do, do, do. I'm looking real quick. I had some more info pulled up. But of course, right, for 40 bucks, I'm definitely going to test them. What was that info? This was, oh, about garnets. That's what I was looking. Sorry, I just left everything up. So understanding gold purity, this is where I, I was looking up about 900 gold. And then, so basically the 900 is like a 22 carat, about, about that. And then I was looking up cameos. So I, I couldn't settle on a price if I was going to list it. Here's one that's kind of similar. Bumbles, vintage. No, I don't want to. I feel like I pulled it up, though. Where did it go? Let me pull it up again. Maybe this is the one we saw already. No, I don't think so. Where is it? Or is it? Oh, it's this site. Oh, darn it. Okay. I really did do all this research prior to show you. Maybe I should have narrowed it down. Um, nope, that wasn't it. There's another one. I'm looking at the setting. So this one says silver. So I'll check it. I'll check it. But that's a silver one too. But just for this pendant, 132. I don't know. I, I didn't even settle on a price. Oh no, Vicky, have a better week. Sorry. I'm just apparently now doing my research because I didn't do so good before. I thought I did. Anyway. Anyway, um, that's a reproduction one. That's not even a real cameo, so. Darn it. Okay. But there's no way I'm going to sell it for 40 bucks. Oh, there's my rubber chicken. Okay. But yeah, with the, I was looking at the different gold colors just because, you know, the deeper it gets, like, um, the more pure the gold, the more, like, golden, kind of like a an egg yolk from a farm-raised egg. I don't know. I can't describe it accurately. Anyway. Anyway, um, so I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to test, and I'll probably video that to, just to show you guys, you know, the testing that I do for these and yeah I'm pretty happy about that I don't know I I can't even imagine the price I'd put on them I haven't even tried it on it might be too small for me I haven't even tried it on yet can you believe it let's see how it looks because I'm, I'm tempted to keep it I've started my own little cameo collection some of y'all got me inspired I was sending my cameos to, I think I sent some to Maggie and some to Cindy, but now I'm, I tend to start keeping some. I guess it doesn't look that bad. I'm going to put these earrings on. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. I'm getting my immune system built up. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. What do you think? Is it me? I don't know. <laughs> Get excited? Oh my gosh. What do, you, do you have info for me? Please have info for me. You would start. Yeah, I'm thinking because I I'm I'm if I had to date them, I would guess before the 40s. What is it, Thelma? Oh my gosh, are you talking about this or the other stuff? You think they look okay? Is it not too matchy matchy with it? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> ah, no, ah! <laughs> I just spilled on myself. Where's my towel? Okay. <laughs> Thelma, tell me what you're talking. Are you talking about the, the these or the other one? The cameos or the brand I couldn't name? Jewelry. Okay. All of it. Okay. So I'm, I am excited. I, I've got to decide if I'm going to sell these or keep them. Is, is, am I going to be, one, am I going to wear them? Or am I just going to stick them in the box with the rest of the cameos that I have? <laughs> people are buying okay yay um yeah i like the dainty the dainty ones oh what am i gonna do i mean because it definitely looks what was the word i was seeing everywhere bohemian 
like that bohemian style. So, I don't know. What do you think? What do y'all? I mean, I'll have to do some research. But what do y'all think about the price? If you if you were going to oh the cameo oh yay okay <laughs> if you were going to sell them one would you sell them as a set? Probably. I don't know. I don't normally sell sets, but I might actually sell these as a set. Sell them as a set. Price wise. Could be gold wash over 900 silver. That's true. I am going to find out, though. I will definitely find out before I list them. So, catch and release. <laughs> Victorian Revival. I don't know. I feel like it's older. I, I'm i going to double check. I will double check. Hmm. Yeah. Sell them as a set. Yeah. <sighs> okay, well, when I have tested them, I will let you know, and I'll probably do it, I probably won't do it live, but I'll do it on a video, because it might take me a second to figure out how I'm going to test to see if it's, like, a, over the silver. If it's washed, at least 900. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got, you know, a gold and silver testing kit, and I'm trying to figure out, I don't know, I mean, I think there would be tarnish, wouldn't there, don't you think? If it was, especially like where it would be up against your neck. Uh, I'm going to do some more research and figure it out. So, Italian cameras are no less than 350 So, I mean, maybe like four something for the set. I mean, they're, I don't know. I mean, the garnets are definitely garnets. I'll do the presidium test. Can't get high. Right, exactly. Okay, so I'll definitely find out more soon and, and let you guys know. But I think for the for the set, because I, I did have a couple people say, if you if and when you list them, let me know. But I, I'm going to probably go pretty high with them. So there's that. They're super pretty. Yeah, I will definitely let you know and clean them because I did put them in my ears. The embellishment adds design quality. Oh yes, with all the garnets and stuff, it's really pretty, right? And I couldn't find any that are that were just like it out there. So definitely, y'all. I'm so excited. now I am excited. You can see the back with the shell and the curvature. I can't get the light. Great Mother's Day gift, right? It's so pretty. Oh, I will test them. I will. All right. I guess that's it. I'll call it. We'll leave it there. And isn't it pretty? I mean, part of me is like, just keep it. Because when are you going to... But am I going to wear it? That's the thing. Will I regret it if I sell it? That's the thing, too. This, I mean, it's, it feels like a... Um, like an heirloom type piece. You know what I mean? Please test them live. Uh, the problem with that is it is it takes some finagling to get like because then I have to use my computer and my phone and like get every it's kind of yeah my camera yeah they feel like a nice heirloom and I did look at the the little jump rings connecting them and they're all they're all soldered so they're all like really you know soldered closed so Super duper pretty. Ah, yay, exciting. Okay, I will definitely let you know. All right, you will regret it. <laughs> Which do I want more, money or jewelry? I have a lot of jewelry. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, we'll figure it out. All right, I will let you guys know, obviously, when I put it up. Um, but I'm going to go now. I hope you guys have a really good day. It can only increase value. That's that's true. That's true. Catch and release, right? All right, you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a great rest of your, what's today, Sunday. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great, great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.